Hi everyone, welcome to this reading for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. This is a reading regarding the full moon in Cancer with the last lunar eclipse of this season. So I'm going to be pulling cards from three separate decks today. I'm going to be using the numerology guidance cards to pull an energy. What energy is surrounding Libra at this time? The main reading will be completed using the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. I will be looking at what you are being asked to release and if you can successfully release it, what will you be rewarded with? And I will finish the reading with a card from the crystals deck. This will give you details of a crystal that you can use to help you through this energy. So it's a full moon in Cancer, which is all about family. It's all about your home life, caring, nurturing, what needs to change within the home, what needs to change within your relationships, what can you release to make everything better. And it's been coupled today with this lunar eclipse. Now, this lunar eclipse is actually the last lunar eclipse of the season. The season started back in July of 2019. So you need to be thinking about what you was actually doing back in July of 2019. Some significant event that happened then is now coming to an end. Did you commit to something? Did you decide to do something? So if you made a commitment, have you been still committing yourself over the past six months? Have you completely committed yourself to the outcome that you want if you have then this is a time that the cycle is ending and you will start reaping your rewards you will be seeing something coming into effect as a reward for the hard work that you've put in for something that is if you've been going through hard times then it's likely that it's going to be the end of hard times and you will be moving forward into um, more stable smoother calmer times whatever it is that is ending at this time please remember it is an ending which leads to beginnings and even though you may not see it at the time these endings are for your highest good and they will open you up to bigger and better so i'm going to start with these numerology cards and i'm going to ask for a card for libra sun moon and rising signs what energy is surrounding libra sun moon and rising signs at the time of this full moon in cancer libra sun moon and rising signs there we go that one's wanting to jump out so it's saying time out we have had this out for one of the other signs I can't actually remember which one it was, but it's basically you're being asked now to take some time, take your time to relax, take your time to do any inner work that needs to be going on, take your time to go and have some fun. So we will pull the main cards from the Queen of the Moon deck and we will ask what does Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising signs need to release at the time of this full moon in cancer what does libra need to release we've got one out we have assessing what else is there anything else yes discernment okay So as soon as this assessing card jumped out, what I was, what I heard was stop being so critical. Stop trying to find fault. It could be with what you are doing. It could be with what others are doing which then leads to you judging others, okay? So at this time, it is also to do with looking deeper, 
trying to find something more. But it's more in a way that it's not you're in the pursuit of more. You are looking, trying to find fault is what I am seeing. Trying to understand or make make a discovery that would make your decisions fit. I can't do this because of this. I can't do that because of that, etc. It's looking for those little get out clauses, ways that you can escape from facing the truth is what I'm hearing. So it's time to let that sort of behaviour go. You can assess in a good way, in a way that will help you develop and help you grow, etc. But at the moment you are being too overly critical and I'm feeling it is that you are being overly critical of yourself. You are assessing a situation and you are feeling yourself as a fault. So it's time to release that energy. Let it go. Relax. You are enough. You are good enough for what you choose to do. I'm hearing that you are your own best critic. And that is the energy that needs to be released here. We move on to the next card, which is discernment. OK, so this is you deciding what is and isn't for you. And I'm feeling because you're being so critical and not seeing your self-worth that you are allowing things in your life that don't actually fit in your life. So it's time to release what no longer fits in your life. It's time to move forward. It's time to let it go. And I'm feeling what's happening here, it, it could be with friends Friends that you are choosing. You're probably, if you've got no self-worth because you're too overly critical on yourself, you're assessing yourself and seeing yourself as um, not, not enough, then it could be that you are picking to be with people that you feel you fit in with. But what you're being told here is that you are actually worth more than that. This is very much about you releasing the way you look at yourself so that you can then release what no longer serves you. You will need to move into a more discerning mindset where you can trust your inner knowing and knowing who is and isn't for you. time to let it go don't criticize yourself and don't let other cri others criticize you either this is the end of one phase you are going into a new phase cut away what no longer belongs be that your own thoughts or the thoughts of others so moving forward if libra sun moon and rising can release these energies how will they be rewarded what can they expect to come into their life if they release what they need to release libra sun moon and rising what rewards can they expect from releasing that's one is there anything else for libra No, I did hear no. So, darkness. Okay. Now, obviously, 
with this card being darkness, it looks quite a dark energy. It looks quite foreboding is what I'm hearing. It's something that you don't want to go down. But this is opening you up to realise that there is light and there is dark in everything. And some things actually thrive in this darkness. Now, what I am really feeling from all of this is that it's time to go deeper. It is time to go into your darkness and do the shadow work that needs to be done. Now, this is what ties in with this time out card, because this is you taking a break from everything so that you can concentrate on yourself, concentrate on your healing. Go into those shadows, dig out those feelings, dig out the things that that have been holding you back. Why are you so critical on yourself? Why do you assess yourself in a light that is not very appealing? This will all come together. And although you may be feeling at the moment that this isn't a reward, it is. It may be a slightly hidden reward and it is something that you are going to have to work at. Because it's not an instant fixed reward that where you are going to get the rewards right this second. This is something that you have got to work towards. However, once you have done the work, you will be in a completely different space. What I'm feeling from this is very much a transformative place a rebirth, complete stripping of everything that no longer belongs to you. And yes, I will admit it sounds scary. I'm going to pull another card because we only have the one. And I'm going to ask this time if Libra does this necessary shadow work and strip back the layers that need to be stripped back to become more in tune with their authentic self, to understand why their life has been the way it has been, what reward can they expect? What is the big reward that is coming to Libra for some heavy shadow work being completed? That's half the deck. Lots coming to you. What is the reward for all this shadow work? There we go. We have one out there. Attraction. By doing all of this deep shadow work, it will bring you to a place where you can attract into your life things that are meant to be in your life. It is going to attract to you the right people. It is going to attract to you that the one status, the person that is for you. It is going to attract romance because you are, once all this shadow work has been done, you will be in a strong place of self-love. Learn to love yourself first. Love yourself, accept yourself first. Then you can start accepting the love, the unconditional love of those around you. You will be bringing the right people into your life. You will be attracting the right opportunities. Yes, it may take a little while. I'm not saying it's going to happen right away, but this this full moon is very much about you taking that time to do the shadow work because the outcome far outweighs this what is going on now. 
it is quite a heavy energy but you can do this do this and you will start manifesting what it is you really desire into your life so i'm going to pull a crystal now let's have a look at what crystal can help libra through these intense times seriously it's worth putting in the work it may sound heavy it may sound hard but if you're not going to do it now when are you going to do it when are you going to start living your best life that's the message what is coming through from this let's start stripping back and getting rid of the old release it all at the beginning of this decade get rid of it so that we can now continue to move forward build on and make bigger and better okay so what crystal can help support libra sun moon and rising signs as they go through these energies that was straight out that one is there any more there's actually two there so i will take those two I can see it just popping out underneath look there you go so we have tiger's eye okay which is the key words is patience readiness decisive action and focus so yes you've got to be patient with this process it's not going to happen overnight it's not going to be an instant fix you are going to have to work at it you're going to have to be focused you are going to have to decide to take this action no one else can decide for you you have your free will to decide what is and isn't for you if it's not for you then just leave it but the universe is guiding you to take this action it says drawing this card indicates that it is time to focus on the realization of a dream or project sit quietly with the thought with the thought in mind is it just a wish or are you ready to manifest the reality okay so as i said these cards are showing me do this shadow work and you will manifest what you want into your life you the law of attraction will work on your behalf and it will bring to you what matches your vibration do the shadow work raise your vibrations accept yourself love yourself so that love can come to you so it says tiger's eye works well with balancing the chakras particularly helping very earthbound people to expand their consciousness and very scattered airy people to ground their energy in this way it helps us shine a light inwardly illuminating our practical and spiritual potential and supporting our balance so again going inside doing that inner work bringing light to those shadows that are inside of you it helps to overcome creative blocks and offers confidence and conviction to drive us forward it's high vibration imbues you with very practical gifts and offers us the protection and necessary self-esteem to realize ourself so yes it's just confirming this is just about you building your self-esteem building your self-confidence building your self-worth so if this is this reading is resonating with you then what you need to be doing is trying to work with this tiger's eye because it is a, a it's a sorry it's a crystal that will help ground you and it will help you do this inner work it's also all about protection and um it is it's about the grounding and protection too helping you to feel safe and secure to be who you are meant to be the second card that we have drawn is jasper and the key words are unfolding, nurturing, manifesting and continuity. So you are unfolding yourself and becoming more and more what you are here to be. To be what you were like before you had all this childhood conditioning. Conditioning from establishments, etc. 
it's time to unfold. And as you unfold, you will start to again manifest him. This is all about bringing to you what you actually deserve, what you actually desire. So drawing this card indicates there is a need for quiet, clear determination and thought. Think of an issue of concern. Are you looking to the long term or merely satisfying immediate ego based will? OK, so take the time out, spend the time to look deep. Strive towards the long term. You can look at it and deal with it as um, looking at the satisfying immediate needs. That's where you've been. That's where you can stay if that's where you choose. But this is very much about moving forward, opening yourself up, seeing where you need to be going so it's saying the slow acting properties are useful for nurturing the self and any projects in mind it offers determination and an ability to see things through this could be simply in terms of completing something or more strongly in helping one to overcome obstacles and conflicts by generating assertive and decisive behavior so jasper perfect it is giving you the confidence that you need to do this work. It is helping you overcome all these obstacles that have previously stood in your way. It says the longevity expressed makes us mindful of the long view. It reminds us to love and help each other. This healing energy is unifying and calming. It is also good for energies and activities relating to the sacral chakra, the manapura. So if any of this reading is relating to you, if you are resonating with it, then both Tiger's Eye and Jasper, and I'm feeling probably the Jasper stronger, um, will seriously help you with these energies at this time. As I've said, you can walk away and ignore everything that you've heard here. You have the free will to do that. But the universe is saying it's time to take some time out, look into yourself and uncover those shadows because it's in those shadows where all of this comes from, where all of this holding yourself back, putting yourself down, etc. is coming from. So if the reading is resonating, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that um, you are feeling this. If you feel inclined, please click on that subscribe button. But having said that, thank you so much for being here with me. I'm sending you much love, much light and many, many blessings. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.